Hey there guys, how are you this week? I've been away in PTO for the holidays and even though this might be a bit late, Happy New Year, hope you'll have a great one. Anyways, in this one, I thought I might take my 7 years of coding experience and condense them into a tire list of ways in which you can actually turn writing code into money. Not all paths presented here are created equal. Even though you might see much higher returns on some of them, the amount of risk and upfront work that they necessitate might also be bigger, and the results curve might be exponential. At the end of the video, I will give you the best method of earning from your code that I was able to find this far and all I can say is that it has a great chance of changing your life forever if done right. Starting off with creating online courses where you teach others how to code. If you followed my story, you know that I was able to make quite a decent amount of money from this. In total, in the last 3 years, I believe it's about $15,000 before tax. I have several other videos on the channel where I go into more detail on how I did it. In short, I uploaded my courses on platforms that already have the marketing skills and budget. These include Skillshare and Udemy. And on each purchase, I'd get about 50% of the money. This is a case where the upfront work plays a big role, and creating a high quality course takes time, research, recording and editing, but once it is ready and uploaded, it is pretty much passive income. Even though there are other more profitable ways, for its beginner friendliness, this one gets a solid A from me. You might have seen ads on LinkedIn or platforms that claim to pay coders for filling out surveys about software tools or development habits. I'd say that you should avoid anything that has the word survey in it in general, while they pay you a couple of bucks here and there, the time investment isn't worth it. You'd make more money learning a new framework or debugging someone else's code. So this is a D tier. Building a personal brand. Whether you do this through a blog or a YouTube channel, this is a long term play. The rewards can be huge, but so is the upfront effort required to work on it consistently without seeing results for a long time. I started this channel about one year ago, and it was one of the hardest things I ever did, especially considering that I have a bachelor's degree in computer science. It takes a huge amount of perseverance. I can make an entire video on this, just let me know in the comments below if you'd consider it helpful. To get more specific on how this can be done, blogging platforms like Medium allow you to monetize through their partner program, and each read will bring you a bit of revenue, while a YouTube channel can bring in ad revenue, sponsorships and affiliate income. I'd say only go for this one if you know you are consistent. If done right and you manage to pull this off, I'd put it on an S tier, as it allows for a seamless transition into creating your own business. Creating and selling APIs on platforms like Rapid API is one of my favorite side hustles. Once you've built an API that solves a specific problem, you can earn recurring revenue as companies and developers pay to call it and integrate it in their own app. This way saving development time and relying on your optimal implementation for the functionality. Last month I made over $500 from my APIs alone. It's a fantastic income stream especially if you find a niche with high demand. I got an entire course on this that you can find in the description below. Considering how passive it is, I'll put this in an A tier. Having a full time job as a software engineer fits into A tier for most people, but can arguably be S tier depending on the location, experience and company. A job gives you stability, predictable income and access to real world projects that sharpen your skills. For example, developers in the US can often make well over 6 figures. If you are able to become a digital nomad living in Asia while getting an employment contract from the US or Eastern Europe, you will live well off with a high pay and low expenses. To achieve this, you can personally reach out to recruiters on LinkedIn, making them aware of your skill set and asking for a completely remote job. Another idea is to develop themes for platforms like WordPress, Ghost or Shopify. These are often one-time sales, but can bring in recurring income if you offer support or updates. This might be for you if you got an eye for design. 
The market might have become a bit saturated, but you won't know if you are good at it until you try it. Personally, this would be a C tier for me. Freelancing is one of the most accessible ways to start making money with coding. Platforms like Upwork, Fiverr and TopTail allow you to offer your services to clients worldwide. While this enables location freedom, there are a lot of downsides as well. Competition is fierce and starting out might mean taking low paying gigs. However, as you build up your portfolio, you can charge premium rates. Experienced freelancers can easily make $50 to $100 per hour. All in all, freelancing doesn't come with the insurance of a steady monthly paycheck, making it a less stable income source. There can be months with absolutely no revenue, while all the other streams fluctuate, I'd say this is much riskier in that regard. For that, I'll put it in the B tier. Some developers make money by contributing to open source projects and getting sponsorships through platforms like GitHub Sponsors or Patreon. It's niche, but it can also boost your personal brand. If you don't have anything better to put in your CV hands-on experience other than personal projects, this can be a great step for you to show them you've contributed to real-world projects. For most people though, given it's low pay, I'd say D tier. Now let's get to the holy grail of turning code into profit. This specific method I'll talk to you about has the highest potential for both high income and long term growth. I can even make an entire separate video about it. It only requires a very specific skill, the ability to be a persistent and determined problem solver. You might have guessed it. Creating a software as a service product is the ultimate way to leverage your coding skills. SaaS products generate recurring revenue, and if you solve a real-world problem, the sky is the limit. Take the example of Mark Luvion and his Shipfast boilerplate. It's proof that even small SaaS tools can become highly profitable with the right marketing. I think he's making about 100,000 USD per month. In short, the steps are find a problem that people run into, find a way to solve it with an app that you can develop from scratch. AI tools can help you a lot here. Don't abandon your idea just because you are new to a specific framework it needs for development. Keep the app simple but functional. Even if it has the one feature that you thought about, it is fine. The idea is what matters most. Create a landing page with integrated payment processing and then market your app by posting it either on Reddit or Product Hunt. Finally, after its launch, you can iterate on it and address commonly met problems or desired functionalities. Without a doubt, given its ability to be scaled, this method receives a well-deserved S tier. Do you have any other ideas of turning the code you write into profit? If so, leave them down below and I'll try to assign a tier to them. Also, I am curious, what methods do you currently use to make a living in the tech space? Thank you for watching to the end and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers!